everybody, it's Debbie Lee, very proud mother of Mark Allen Lee, and sending this message to you today by video as I wasn't be able to personally be there with you, but I want you guys to know how important each one of you are to me. I enjoy the freedoms that I have every morning because of men like you who were willing to sacrifice and give so much for the freedoms that we enjoy each and every day. So thank you so much. God bless each one of you for what you've given in your service to this country. I would just like to share with you today, many of you may be familiar with Mark Lee, I'd like to share his amazing heroic story and uh, what we're doing in America's Mighty Warriors in response to his amazing last letter home. The day that we were notified that my son had been killed in action, we were actually celebrating my birthday and I got a call from my oldest son and he called me to come home. And as you can imagine, when you're given the news that your loved one, especially a child, has been killed in combat. It's the most devastating news that you could receive as a parent. We began to piece together the story of Mark's heroic actions and learned that it was 115, 120 degrees that day in Ramadi, Iraq. They had been fighting an intense firefight for two hours in those extreme temperatures. Mark carried the big gun, so he carried anywhere from 150 to 180 pounds in addition to his own weight. How you do that in those extreme temperatures for that amount of time is beyond me. His buddy Ryan had been severely injured. The bullets had hit his weapon and they could tell by looking at him this shrapnel injuries he had to his face were severe. He dropped it to the ground. Two of the other SEALs that were with him dropped to the ground. Mark could have made that very same choice. But his choice that day was to stand up into the direct line of fire, hoping that the enemy would focus on him and he would be able to put down some fire so that the medic could get up to the roof. The medic successfully got up there. He took one look at, at Ryan and said, we gotta get him out of here immediately, or there's no chance for survival. So not just once, but a second time, Mark made that same choice again, to stand up into the direct line of fire, hoping the enemy would focus on him and fire at him, and again, he could lay down some suppressive fire so they could get down off the roof. They all successfully got down off of that roof and they headed back to the base, sent Ryan off for medical attention. And we've watched our Navy SEALs do some amazing things. I've tried to comprehend what was going on in their minds as they drove back to that base. I learned later that they thought at that point Ryan was probably gone. And they got back to the base and they started to rip off their gear and get some water to refresh themselves. And the chief came in. He said, we just found 30 of the insurgents that just attacked us. And without hesitation, Mark said, Roger that, let's go get him. So they climbed into their Bradleys and they headed back to that God-forsaken place. They cleared several buildings and they went in the last building Mark would be in. They cleared the bottom of the house and they started up the steps and they heard Mark yell, On me! And you guys know what that meant. Mark was saying, I got the lead on this, you guys follow me. And as they went up those steps, they drew fire through a window. And for the last and final time, Mark made the choice again to stand into that line of fire. He didn't run from it. He didn't stand back and let someone else take the bullets. He stood in that line of fire. And that's what you guys do. That's what you're all willing to do for the freedoms that we enjoy every day. I miss Mark so much. It's been eight years now since we've lost him. And that young man has been redeployed to heaven. I know where he is. I will see him again one day. And the choice that I made was to put on his boots and pick up his weapon and stay in the fight for our men and women who serve, and especially for those families of the fallen. Mark wrote this an amazing letter. It's on our website at americasmightywarriors.org. I sent copies all for you guys to have up there. But that letter literally has changed millions of lives around the world. And I accepted his challenge at the end of that letter. He says to my family and friends, do me a favor. Pass on the kindness, the love, the precious gift of human life. I accepted that challenge and founded America's Mighty Warriors in response to that letter. I'm sure you wouldn't be surprised to know that Mark's name meant Mighty Warrior. But it's not just about Mark. It's about each and every one of our men and women who serve and sacrifice for us on a daily basis. Many of the things that we do at America's Mighty Warriors are for our families of the fallen. We do retreats in Texas. 
Uh, we have one coming up next week that we're doing for the SEAL Families of the Fallen. We do one in the spring that's for our wounded warriors and families of the fallen from all branches of our military. We have a house in Arizona called the Heroes Hope Home. I'm standing in the Heroes Room right now. You can see Mark's picture over my shoulder. And the families of the fallen can come stay free for a week. And everything's taken care of them while they're here. We're also just recently started doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatments for our men and women who are coming home with TBI injuries. You can't help but be in combat for the years that our troops have been and not have issues when they come back home. It's our responsibility to see that they're taken care of. We also do a lot of advocacy, so I'm up on Capitol Hill fighting for their funding, their benefits, rules of engagement. When there's issues that we're facing with the VA or Benghazi, we have a petition right now to go get Glenn Doherty and Ty Woods, the Congressional Gold Medal. And then we do those random acts of kindness for our troops, as Mark said in that letter. Again, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share a little bit about Mark, my hero, my son, my mighty warrior, and about what we're doing at America's Mighty Warriors. We can't do it alone. We need the support of so many people. So anything you can do to donate to help us or to spread the word about our mission. And again, thank you so much. God bless each one of you. And have an awesome reunion.